on Greyhound bus after illegal takes over with sickening order for trapped passengers. Massive negotiations have been going on in Capitol Hill regarding DACA and illegal immigration and how to deal with them. And while many would like to make it seem as though all immigrants are the kinds that just want to make a new life for themselves some are in fact dangerous criminals that we need to protect our citizens from. Which is why this most recent incident shouldn't surprise you. Law enforcement officials chased down a Greyhound bus that had been hijacked by an illegal immigrant who threatened to shoot and kill the fellow passengers. It all began in Wisconsin but eventually culminated in Illinois. Now, the man who committed the crime is facing charges of terrorism. Police got the call around 9.40 p.m. on Friday evening from a passenger on the bus who had claimed there was a person threatening to kill other passengers. It was reported out of the Racine County Sheriff's Department. The man in question was 33-year-old Chicago native Margarita Vargas Roses. He started out by pacing up and down the aisle towards the back of the bus and eventually appeared to draw a weapon from around his waistband. Fox News reported. Deputies with the Milwaukee and Kenosha County Sheriff's offices both attempted to pull the bus over, but the driver didn't stop the vehicle. Racine County Sheriff Christopher Schmeling said the bus driver thought it was a training exercise by law enforcement, or thought he was going to stop someone. Passenger Patrick Todd told the Chicago Tribune the bus occupants were confused by the driver's actions and kept yelling at him to pull over. Authorities ultimately used spike strips to flatten the vehicle's tires, which forced it to a stop on Interstate 94 near the Illinois community of Wadsworth. While the bus eventually stopped, the driver, according to Dodd, didn't stop after the first spike strip, he went on to Illinois before hitting the second spike strip. Another passenger, Terrence Williams of New Jersey, said he thought police were escorting the bus, not realizing what was happening in the back. He was also confused about why the bus driver took so long to pull over. The law is, you see emergency lights, you pull over, Williams said. The police, were in front of us, they were in back of us. I think he ultimately recognized that this was a serious event when we spiked his tires, Schmeling said of the driver. Vargas Roses was ordered off the bus at gunpoint, according to Fox 6, and was taken into custody without incident. Schmeling said the man made threats to law enforcement as he was being transported to jail. Officials didn't locate a weapon on Vargas Roses, but said the bus will be thoroughly searched. None of the nearly 40 people aboard the bus were injured. Vargas Roses is in the U.S. illegally, and was previously deported to Mexico in 2012, the Daily Herald reported. Vargas Roses reportedly faces charges of felony terroristic threats and disorderly conduct. Local station Fox 6 reported. When we first got here it was pretty crazy, lots of cop cars, lots of traffic backed up. It has settled down quite a bit and it seems to be resolving which is great, Ashley Goods who lives nearby said. Authorities say the subject was taken into custody around 12.30 a.m. Approximately 37 passengers aboard the bus were safely removed, and there are no injuries reported. I'm glad to hear it was resolved and everyone's okay, Good said. Greyhound officials brought a relief bus to the scene to pick up passengers and take them to Chicago. Because of this incident, all lanes of southbound I-94 near Wisconsin 50 in Kenosha County were shut down for a time. People who want to come to this country legally and contribute to our society should absolutely have the opportunity to do so. But those who aren't properly vetted, have criminal backgrounds and more should not. If we had stricter immigration laws incidents such as these could be avoided entirely. Luckily nobody was grievously injured and nobody was hurt in the long run. But we shouldn't have to be glad that nothing serious happens. We shouldn't have to worry that anything like this will happen at all. Luckily we have a White House administration willing to crack down on illegal immigration and reform our criminal justice system the way it needs to be. Hopefully now that tax reform has passed this will be the next great package deal to go through the Senate, House, and White House because we dreadfully need it given what has happened. All the talks on Capitol Hill between President Trump and lawmakers concerning DACA and immigration reform in regards to a merit-based system will likely end the way the president wants. And if it is it will be in the best interests of the American people no doubt.
Share if you agree. If you agree.